Hey there, Libra, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of March 2022. We're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, Libra, please remember energies do go both ways, so I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy. Take the energies as they resonate for you. Also, Libra, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm while there is a lot of healing going on for you in the recent past you healed on like a lot of levels not just externally but internally okay libra let's take a look the main energy for your reading this month is the ten of pentacles this is something that you view as very stable or something that has the potential to be very stable you can see this going the distance long term but i'm not quite sure what this is yet i'm not sure if this is love or if this has to do more so with you but let's see in the recent past you get the strength the four of swords the hermit it was rough you went through a like you went through the ringer in the recent past but you came out of it with a lot of healing and usually when we heal it's not pretty it's not fun it's not a walk in the park and you're showing me here yeah this ish was hard but a lot of healing took place for you and i feel like in the current situation you come out of that just free free of burdens free of difficulties so in the current situation you get the page of swords the ten of wands the six of wands this burden that you have been carrying around for quite some time is off your back. You've unloaded that. You've Once you've gone through that healing, you've completely released this burden. Whatever it was that was weighing on you, it no longer weighs on you. It no longer bothers you because all you feel right now is amazing, incredible, radiant. Like you feel really good in the current situation. Um, and if you don't already, you definitely will. Now in the near future... There's something or someone showing up here for you. So in the near future, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. You definitely carry love for somebody here in the near future and the desire to work on things, to make the situation between you and this person work. Now, I feel like you went, as you were going through this healing, as you were going through everything in your life, you never really let go of this desire to make things work with this person. However, because other things were more important, your healing, your internal transformation, I feel like this love kind of took a back seat. And in the near future, once you've gone through the healing and you've come out the other end, the love is able to come back to the surface for you. So let's clarify, let's see. And again, Libra, I am gonna say you because this is your reading, but um, take, take their energies as they resonate. They could belong to your person. As I was shuffling the justice, which is your card, um, almost popped out, but because it didn't fall out, I don't take it. Let's take a look at the Ten of Pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading this month. The Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Tower. I feel like there was a connection or there was something here again, like I said, which had stability. It had a lot of stability and I feel like it had been in your life for quite some time. But it also carried an energy of unhappiness, an energy of, oh, this sucks. Um, and I don't feel like you really knew why you had this heavy energy surrounding it, but it's still, it came, it's kind of like they came as a package deal. It's like, yes, this has been forever, this has been in my life for quite some time. Yes, this is stable, but it also brings about an energy of unhappiness. But something happened, something very, very unexpected happened with regards to this. Um, which I feel like shifted the whole situation for you because whatever you viewed as very stable, whatever you viewed as having that long-term potential was not as stable as you thought. It was not as stable as you perceived it to be. And so spirit came in, sorry, I made a mess of my cards. Spirit came in with the tower and was like, yeah, I need to, I need to tear this down because this does not have the stability you think it does. Let's take a look at your recent past. I want to see what the strength is for you. I know that's very vague. But I'm sure we're going to get to the bottom of that throughout this reading. Strength is clarified by the Page of Swords, which you get again in the current situation in the same row, the Page of Cups, and the Death. There's two energies showing up here for you. There's you, and then there's somebody else tied up to you. You may be dealing with the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody that had a lot of feelings for you. But either way, I see you and this person came to an end in the recent past. And I feel like this was something that 
it was new. I don't feel like this connection has been going on for very long or it was in its very superficial like initial stages, but you definitely did see the potential for it. You saw this possibly going long term. You saw this having that potential for, okay, we could do this forever. But it came to an end in the in the recent past and it was hard for you. I can definitely see that it was hard for you to accept this ending, to go through this ending. It wasn't easy. Um, let's take a look at the Four of Swords for you in the recent past. But yeah, I don't feel like this connection was a very long connection, if you get what I mean. Like, it's not years and years. I feel like this is something relatively new. Like, you guys met and you instantly clicked. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the Four of Swords in your recent past. Okay. The Four of Swords is clarified by the Empress, the Six of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. There, this person did mean a lot to you, okay? Despite the fact that, again, I don't feel like this connection was something very long, like you've been together for years. It was in its infancy. But you saw the potential. You saw this person as like, you can be my forever. You could be my person, the person for me. Um, but, but, there's something else showing up here for you in the recent past. Something that has to do with somebody from your past that needs to be healed. In order for you to have this brand new beginning in love, which I do see you desiring, there's something tied up to a past connection that you need to work on healing. So it could be that this past connection brought about a lot of healing for you and that energy is resurfacing in the past, but I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like there is an, another connection, not this one, a different one, a different energy, which is coming up for you because spirit's like, hey, you still have some some ish tied up to this connection that needs to be worked on, needs to be healed in order for you to have a brand new beginning in love with somebody new or possibly even with this past connection. Um, but it's like you have to go through this force in order to get to that new beginning in love, which you desire. Let's take a look at the hermit for you in the recent past. The Hermit's clarified by the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, which you got as the main energy for your reading. It's almost like deep down, you were waiting for this whole situation to just resolve itself. It's like, you know what, if I just wait long enough, this energy of it'll work itself out, or this energy of, you know, I don't have to put in the work, it'll just happen, it'll take place, right? If you just wait long enough, it'll happen. Things will unfold, things will happen the way I want them to happen. And I feel like you genuinely, deep, deep down, believe this. You believe this. And you're showing me here like, yeah, if I just wait long enough, it'll happen. I don't feel like that's the case, though. Because I feel like the more you waited, the more spirit came in and was like, hey, what are you waiting for? You're sitting on like a house of cards here. Oh, oh, you don't want to make a move? Okay, I'll blow the house of cards down for you. There was something unstable here, which I don't feel like you really wanted to address. And you're just kind of like, yeah, I'll just sit here on my house of cards and wait. Eventually, it'll, you know, it'll work itself out. And Spirit's like, no, but it's not stable. You need to, you need to tear this down. And you're like, nah, I'll wait. It's stable. It's good. It's fine. Well, Spirit was like, all right, let me just come in and blow your house down, Libra. Let's take a look at your current situation. Again, I don't know what this stability has to do with. I do feel like it has to do with love, but you're showing me two different energies here. At least in the recent past. Okay. Give me two more for the Page of Swords in the current situation for Libra. Page of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. All right. Okay. So here's the thing, Libra. What you kept postponing, what you kept, you know, not actually investing energetically in, was the desire to do something. You definitely had a clear understanding of, I want to do this. This is the direction that I want to go in. This is what I want to, you know, invest my energy in. But you not, you didn't do that. You didn't invest your energy in that. You keep showing me, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. But you're showing up like with 10%. You're investing this much of the energy when you want things to get done. That could be what was unstable for you here. Where spirit was like, okay, well, Libra, if you want this done, you got to get it done. And you're like, I can just sit here on my house of cards. It'll get done on its own. And spirit was like, no, it won't. So again, I feel like you didn't really fully invest the amount of energy that you needed to or that you had in whatever this situation is. And so 
eventually what ended up happening is you transformed that energy of I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I want this to happen into F it, I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to walk away from this because things weren't happening the way you wanted them to. But again, to be honest, I also don't see you investing energy in making them happen. And again, this could be you, this could be the other person, right? Take the energies as they resonate. Let's take a look at the Ten of Wands for you in the current situation. Ah, okay, I'll take the Ace of Swords. It's too many cards, Spirit. Two more cards, you've got one, two, three Aces on the table. The energy for a brand new beginning is definitely here, but it keeps Spirit. Two cards, please, for the Ten of Wands in the current situation for Libra. Spirit keeps, okay, fine. I saw the Five of Wands like twice, where is it? These cards keep coming up. They fell on the table, I picked them up and then I put them in the deck. And then I was shuffling, shuffling, shuffling and then they kept coming out. And so I was like, you know what, fine, I'll take them. I usually only take three cards, but four came out twice. So I'm just gonna take the four that came out. The Ten of Wands in the current situation is clarified by the Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Moon. What's weighing heavy on you here is there you're very conflicted about whether you should take action in this relationship, in this love connection. There's definitely a very clear relationship or very clear connection between you and somebody else showing up here. But you keep taking this energy of what should I do? Should I do this? Should I do that? I don't even know if I should do anything. Should I even take action? Is this the right thing for me to do? And what you keep doing anytime this conflict resurfaces, you don't really want to deal with it. So you take it and you bury it deep, deep, deep within you. And again, that's what keeps showing up here for you where spirit is like, okay, deal with this Libra. And you're like, I don't have to do anything. It'll figure itself out. This conflict will resolve itself. But, but you need to do something, right? Like it's not, you can't just expect this to resolve itself. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just wait, I'll just wait. It'll take care of itself. And I feel like you just, that's maybe a pattern that you have where you just keep ignoring this conflict or ignoring this desire that you have within you to take action. And you're just kind of like, eh, no, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Let's take a look at the Six of Wands for you in the current situation. Six of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, which you get again in the near future, and the King of Wands. Just the thought, when, when this thought comes up for you of expressing how you feel to this person, doing something about the love that you carry for this person, even maybe admitting it to yourself that you even have this love, you feel really, really good about it. When you experience the love, when you experience the passion whether it's in your memory or you know whatever the energy comes up for you even when you experience it in that capacity you feel really really good about it and so i don't know why you're not taking action i don't know why you're not moving i definitely see an ending here but i can't figure out like I, you're not showing me why you're not taking action why you don't want to do anything about this you would know libra you would know Let's take a look at the Four of Pentacles for you in the near future. Four of Pentacles, there you are, is clarified by the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, and the Justice. It's stressing you out because you do, like, you want to express how you feel. You're showing me this over and over and over again. But then you're also showing me, like, yeah, but just the thought of doing something is really, really stressing me out. I don't want to move. I don't want to budge. I don't want to do anything except for stay exactly where I'm at. Even though I want to express how I feel, even though I carry love for this person, the thought of doing something is just, it's, it's too much. I can't. I can't deal. I can't handle. So I'm not going to do anything. All right. Let's take a look at the, at the Knight of Cups for you in the near future. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Lovers, and the Strength. Again, I feel like, okay, you know what? No, I want to clarify this Eight of Pentacles first. Show me the Eight of Pentacles for Libra in the near future. There we go. You got me. You almost got me. I was about to say, there we go. There's finally movement, and then the Magician pops out. 
Libra, the reason, remember how I said I can't figure out why you're not moving, why you're not budging, why you're not making any moves? This connection is intense. You get the lovers, you get the empress, you get the six of cups, you get the two of cups. You have love for this person and it's not just you feeling love for them, they feel it for you too. Energetically, I know that you can pick up on the feelings that they have for you. What you're showing me here is there's no point. It's done, it's over with. I have these feelings, yes. I love this person, yes. I feel the intensity of this connection, yes. But we are done, we ended, we broke up, we separated. There's nothing for me to work with here. Well, my question to you is Libra, if it's so done and it's so over with, then why are all these energies still here? Why are you two exchanging energies like crazy? Because it's not really done. It may be done in the 3D world, and maybe you think it's done. Doesn't seem done to me. In the near future for the Eight of Pentacles, you get the Chariot, the Queen of Wands, and the Magician. You're manifesting things happening. You're manifesting things moving here. You're manifesting things working out with this person. The love is there. The passion between you two is definitely there. The energy for something to happen is there, but I feel like you're manifesting from spirit like a push, a shove, like spirit to come in and just fling you in that direction so that you get moving. Because right now you are standing still, you are stagnant, and you're not budging. And again, could be you, could be your person, but I do feel like this is definitely your energy. So Libra, um, let me just say, you got a lot of willpower and you are definitely exerting it in this reading. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Libra. From the universe, you get the death, rebirth, the ace of swords, the nine of cups. You're very clear that you want to bring this back. You're very clear that just the thought of having this connection back in your life and resurrecting it brings you happiness, brings you that desire, that wish fulfillment that you have. You know that and you want to take action. And this is obvious. Like you can see it throughout your whole reading. You want to do something, but you keep stopping yourself because you're also accompanying that with an energy of it's done. It's done. We're over. It ended. There's no point. This is, this is done. We're broken up, etc., etc., etc. So let's close off your reading with an Oracle card from the universe. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. It's kind of like what I was saying in the reading where you have free will. That's practicality. You are able to do whatever you want. And you are an air sign. You guys are very logical. You are very clear. Like you are very powerful. But I feel like love is trying to come to the surface. Spirit is trying to bring those emotions to the surface for a reason. And you keep fighting them. You keep saying, no, I have free will. Yes, I know I want to do something. But no, 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 no. we're not doing anything. Because <coughs> my free will is stronger. So Libra, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye Libra.